and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be playing another um installment of my sister's crush i'm really trying to get back into the stories that i read previously so i'm going to be trying to read more of this and infamous and something else that i didn't that i'm still reading but haven't finished reading i'm definitely going to try to get infamous because we're like halfway through and there's only like seven seven episodes left so i really need to get through that one so you guys can finish it because i know a lot of you guys have come you're new and you haven't been able to see me finish it and you guys want to see how it ends so definitely will do that but also um if you guys don't remember in the last episode our mom sent us away we met some mean girls we beat their asses the warren is our father he let us off with the warning um, Olivia thinks that she got rid of us, um, Harley misses us, and then Harley's mother, Marie, right here, sis right here, invited our mom to dinner, and now we about to see what's good, alrighty? Anything else, I'll, you can just wait till the end, but anyway, on with the, on with the story, guys. Boys, what is she talking about? What is this about ditching school? I love how Axel's like, I didn't ditch school. Hello? Am I alone in this room? Axel? What? Do you have anything to say? Not really. Axel, just tell me what you've done. Why do you assume I've done anything? Because I've met you. Okay, so maybe I usually have something, have done something, but in this case, I haven't. Axel James Hunter. Say my full name all you want, Mom. It's not going to change the fact that I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> What have I told you about using that language? It's me, okay? Axel wasn't involved in this, Mom. It's me. You should be questioning. Why would you ditch school? Why was it without me? I mean, how could you ditch school? The audacity. Your signature sarcasm isn't helpful right now, Axel. So you're probably a bad time to point out you owe me an apology for falsely accusing me. I accept cash and all major credit cards, FYI. We can talk about it later. I just can't believe what I'm hearing, Harley. You su supplied my daughter with marijuana? No. Miss Bunk, you believe, I believe you've given the wrong impression. Nothing actually happened. That's not what I heard. Well, you heard wrong. Excuse me? I'm saying you were lied to. Were you the boy who came to the house? The one that was in Lola's room? What's this about a bedroom? Where to go, Harley? <laughs> Shut up, Axel. Harley, what have you done? Is there something going on between you and Lola? I mean, besides the fact he's live, I actually hate you right now. Look, Lola and I barely know each other. Like I said, nothing happened. We just met that day the girls came to the house, and I didn't know they were showing up, I swear. They just showed up with Travis. Who's Travis? Travis is a friend of Harley's. He was also Olivia's boyfriend. Olivia has never had a boyfriend. Girl, come on now. Like, you can't be this fucking stupid. Come on now. You're daughter told you the same thing and now somebody else is telling you the exact same thing two people are not gonna lie on you i mean they might but in this in this situation they're both not gonna lie on her like come on now now i know you're lying how about you watch the way you speak to my brother lady axel axel what this lady has massive balls coming into our house and calling my brother a liar harley is a lot of things but he's no liar i'll admit i didn't understand my brother's soft 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 spot for your daughter but now after meeting you even i feel bad for her and i'm a total douche please everyone just try to stay calm yelling or insulting each other isn't gonna help no harley just talk to me you said you didn't know her girls before that day like i said they showed up with olivia's boyfriend but my daughter doesn't have a boyfriend not anymore she doesn't just how long have you been ditching school and why didn't the school inform me it was just that one day mom they called dad and he covered for me what he said he understood he said he used to ditch all the time when he was my age did he tell you the border of mexico story what apparently he was our age he did school with his friends and his mom had to come pick him up at the border of mexico he tells me that story every time he catches me ditching i assume it's like my punishment or something i feel like throwing up nobody thought i'd like to know this i didn't want to upset you you mean you didn't want to get in trouble i'm so angry with you i'm so angry at your father does this make me the new favorite why don't you go check on dinner and let us talk harley I guess I'll take that as a no, then. I think I was supposed to be Axel, but she said Harley. 
Or maybe I read it wrong. Anyway, listen, lady, I apologize for Axel's rudeness, but he was right about one thing. Harley is a good young man. He's still young and he, he does make mistakes, but he's not a liar. If he, if he says nothing happened with your daughter, I am, I'm inclined to believe him. Just like that. He's my son. Evan, he's never given me a reason to not trust his word. Huh? 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 I wonder how that feels. You mean besides ditching school? My mother tries to keep an open mind. She's not the kind of mother who would not hear her ch children's side and ship them to a kitty prison. What did you just say? What's that supposed to mean, Harley? Why don't you ask your friend, Mom? Because she knows exactly what I mean. What the hell do you know about any of that? A lot more than you do. How dare you? Harley Hunter, you watch your tone. I've never known you to talk so harshly. So much for respect, Tom. Huh? I suggest you watch the way you speak to me. I've had a very bad day. I bet your day wasn't nearly as bad as Lola's. None of this is your business. Lola is a cool person. Even I know that, and I just met her. If you paid any attention to her at all, you'd know that too. And also might notice that Olivia, on the other hand, is a conniving little bitch. Unfortunately, your head is too far up your own ass to see much of anything. Ooh, Harley, tell her again. Harley, how dare you judge me when we just met each other? Did you not do the same thing to me just now? I'll admit the addition school was stupid, but I'm glad I did because I wouldn't have met Lola otherwise. I have to admit, I've never been more grateful for my own family than the moment I saw the way Lola's family treats her. I'm going to get some fresh air. I'm, I'm a little speechless, to be honest. I'd be lying if I said I understood any of this. I would expect an outburst from Axel. He gets his honesty and passion from his father. But Harley? Harley has always been a, such a gentle soul. He must have taken her liking to your daughter. But whatever you have going on is none of his business. I promise you he's going to hear about it. It's okay, I suppose. He's right about one thing. Everything is so wrong and it's my fault. And when Walt left me after I became pregnant and my parents abandoned me, I wanted so badly to believe I could do it all on my own. But obviously, I was wrong. Somehow I managed to mess up everything with my children, and I don't know how to fix it. I mean, that's fine with us, because we don't want to forgive you. I hope we get the option to not forgive her, because I don't want to forgive her. But you want to fix it, right? More than anything in the world, that means there's hope. Being a parent is rarely ever easy, Linda. Rewarding, yes, but never easy, especially teenagers. You're, they're on their way to being adults, so you think they think they know everything. But they will still have so much to learn. Not that they are willing to be taught half the time. It takes a lot of patience to be a parent. But to do it all alone with teenage girls? I can't even imagine, Linda. Give yourself a little slack. Things have a way of working out the way it's supposed to. I hope so. I forgot what a kind person you are, Marie. I've always admired your positivity so much. I haven't reached out much. I haven't realized how much I was needing of it. I never should have let us fall out of touch. None of that now. We both should have... We both have tried a little harder, but the important thing is we found each other again. You know what that means, right? What? That means that when the load feels too heavy for you to carry, you can give some to me and we'll carry it together. It means you're not alone anymore. I hope you'll stay for dinner, but I understand if you don't want to. I'd still like to stay. Great. I guess I'll better go talk with Harley. If you excuse me for a moment, I'll be right back. Please make yourself comfortable. Sorry if the place is kind of a mess. I'd say we'll be moving to a new house soon. No worries. Take your time. Thanks for everything, Marie. If she thinks this is a mess, just wait until she sees my house. <coughs> ring, ring, ring. Ring, 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 ring. Walt, I haven't expected to hear from you so soon. Has the results of Lola's drug test come back already? No, not yet. I hope this isn't a bad time. It's definitely been quite the day. What's wrong? All prison backwards. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Everything's fine. Well, mostly. But there was a bit of an incident today and that I wanted you to be aware of. That the hits just keep on coming, don't they? Well, just rip it off like a band-aid. How bad is it? Lola and her roommates were involved in a physical altercation today. Lola ended up knocking someone out. After talking with her, however, I determined she acted on self-defense. So she was been let off with a warning this time. Why does this not surprise me? Why is it always something with her? I understand your frustration, Linda. Do you? I've been in you've been in the picture for like what two seconds, Walt? The picture I put her in her 
the second I put you in your care, she's already beating people up. You were supposed to make it better, not worse. Linda, while I respect the fact that you have a lot on your plate, taking it out of me is not fair. I do the best I can and I can't do every, be everywhere at once. These things happen sometimes in places like this, unfortunately. I discreetly remember warning you she might not belong in here. Obviously, she does if she's getting in a fight. I told you already, it was self-defense. We've been having issues for a while with the group of girls she fought with. Besides, Lois also had a really tough day. I'm going to ask you a question, Walt, and you better pray to God you give me an honest answer. Don't roll your eyes at me. How did you know I was, I have two teenage girls, teenage daughters. I know all about eyebrows. That's what I was saying. I'm going to ask you an honest question. I want an honest answer. What is it? Do you side with Lola on this because you, because you've, believe it was self-defense or because she's the daughter you abandoned and you feel guilty are you ever going to stop punishing me for that i'm serious Walt. we talked about this already you can't treat her any different than you would anyone else in there she can't know that you're her father yeah about that how long do i have to keep this quiet why because i hate lying to her i want to build a relationship with my daughters and how can i do that if they don't even know i'm around they don't even know i want they don't even know I want anything to do with them. Walt, I know it's a crazy, awkward situation, but we can't rush this. Everything is such a mess right now. Besides, how do I know you won't change your mind? Change my mind? Because a father was always the worst thing in the world to you. It's terrified you so much that you broke my heart. You broke it and you changed me forever. My thing is, sis, you've had 15, 16 years to get over this and you're not. Like, raise your daughters, get over the fact that this man left you. And put all your feelings to the side. Like he wants to he wants to know them. So just be like hey. So okay. Here's what happened. This is the thing. And let it be what it be. Not Now you're just. She's causing too much commotion. Honestly. How do I know I can trust you? Do you ever really know we can trust anyone? Having faith in someone is always a gamble. Linda I know today was the first day you see me in a long time. Which is my fault. You still see that young high school boy. Who thought actions don't have consequences. You remember how horrible my father was don't you? Yes I remember. He had no right to call himself a father. My mother always said that I was just like him. And I thought that meant that I would be a bad father too. So when you said you were pregnant I panicked. I know it doesn't make it right. But honestly I thought you'd be better off without me. I thought they were better off without me. It took me years to realize how stupid and selfish I had actually been. But I thought of you every day and I wanted so badly to make it right. So why didn't you? Why didn't you call or write and say what exactly? Well, what could I possibly have said to make things better? I'm sorry it would have been a good start. I am sorry, Linda. It was the biggest mistake of my entire life. But after so much time had passed, I didn't think I had to write to come back. I suppose I was still scared and now you're not? Are you kidding me? Of course I'm still scared. I just realized I have already missed so much of their lives. The thoughts of missing another moment scares me even more. I guess I'm scared too. Well, tell them the truth soon, okay? Just when the time is right. For now, please don't tell all, okay? Okay, but what do you want me to do? I mean, how long are we going to... Are we keeping her here? As long as it takes. But what does that even mean? I still say she doesn't even belong here. I still say that's not up to you to decide. Linda, this place has a way of changing people. Good. I love Lola, but she needs to change. She needs to change, or you need to change. Mm. That one hit a nerve, didn't it? Good night, Walt. Mm. Sorry, ass mother. Meanwhile, <laughs> your mother looks so tired. You're like, girl, I'm tired of dealing with this. Harley. Why does it smell like smoke out here? Ooh. One of the neighbors, maybe? Sorry, Mom. You know how I feel about you smoking, Harley. For now, let's talk about what just happened in there. I'm sorry if I embarrassed you in front of your friend, Mama. I didn't mean to lose my cool like that. I just wasn't expecting to see her. Have you even actually met her before? Well, no. Harley Hunter, I raised you better than talk to someone like that. I've never known you to have an outburst like that. This girl must mean something to you, huh? Her name's Lola, Mom, and I really don't want to talk about it. Well, you're going to have to give me some kind of explanation. Lola's sister, she's really horrible, Mother. I overheard her speaking to Lola that day they were here, and I still can't get it out of my head. If you would have seen the look on Lola's face, I went by her house that night to know to let her know she's not alone. That all it, That's all it was, I swear. So, is it you feel sorry for this girl, or is it because you have feelings for her? I don't, I don't know. I don't really know her all that well. It's just, 
she got under my skin somehow. Not not that it matters all that much. Now her mother shipped her off to some camp for troubled teens. And I didn't even get to say goodbye. So that's why you're so angry at her? Well, it doesn't belong there, Mom. But that's not for you to decide, Harley. I know this is tough, but you said it yourself. You don't really know her all that well. Linda is very torn up about all this. That's why I invited her here when I saw her at the store. We were great friends in school, but we lost touch. She's been through a lot, Harley. What with raising two daughters of her own, I'm sure being Olivia's mother is a nightmare. Wait until you meet her mom. She's horrible. Maybe she is. But you need to try to keep your judgment to yourself. You know none of this is actually your business. I know. So you think you owe Miss Burke an apology, don't you? Well, I guess so. That's my sweet boy. Well, while you're at it, try to forget about this girl's son. Sounds like she may have some problems. The only problem she has is what family she was born into. Yes, Mom. You have a big heart, Harley. Take it from someone with experience. It can be a blessing and a curse. Tell me about it. That big heart of yours is going to have some lucky girl very happy one day. I just know it. You're kind of... You kind of have to say that stuff like that, mother. But thank you for saying it. Can we go back inside and enjoy this dinner now? That is if your brother hasn't burnt the kitchen to the ground. I'd never do something like that, mom. At least not twice in one week. <laughs> Alright, so we are back at the prison with Miss Trixie and ourselves. That first night was the worst. I felt as if I might go crazy. I was exhausted, but I had too much of my mind to sleep. Not to mention it was the most uncomfortable bed I'd ever slept on. Finally just gave up and went and sat down and lost in my thoughts. Seriously, how does Trixie do it? How was she so nonchalant and cool about everything? Could her and Safi really teach me to be more than that? Because I have to be honest, I was feeling a bit like a, a lost cause. I reminded myself over and over again what both the warden and Trixie had said. It was all just temporary. The problem was in that moment, it didn't feel temporary. It felt like I just might have been trapped in that little room for the rest of my life. I tried going over in my head all that had happened to bring me here. Was that? Was there anything I could have done differently to prevent this? I honestly wasn't sure anymore. One thing for sure, if I ever take it out of here, the first thing I was going to do was find a way to make Olivia answer for what she's done. Hey you. Got room for one more on this bench? I didn't wake you, did I? Nah, it's okay. First night is the hardest for everyone. You'll get used to it. You don't have to stay up just because I am, you know? It's not like I have something important to do tomorrow. I can sleep anytime. I suppose some company would be nice. So, what do you what do you want to talk about? Blah, 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 blah. Do you want to talk about whatever's on your mind? Not really. I could use a distraction from it actually. So what did you want to talk about then? You actually finally tell me what you brought you here. Every time you are about to tell me, you would be interrupted. Yeah, it's a real shame, isn't it? Oh, come on. I won't judge you, I promise. Are you sure you're ready for that, though? It's kind of a heavy story. I'm listening. After my father died, my mom developed a bit of a problem. A defined problem. She's a drug addict. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. It wasn't just the drugs, though, either. She began to bring home different men every night. Real losers, too. No matter what I said, I never seemed to be able to get through to her. But I told myself that she was just acting out because she missed my dad. And that it was just a phase and that it would pass eventually. And that was until she met Gary. Is Gary. Trixie? As soon as Trixie mentioned his name, her eyes glazed over as she stared off into space. Her mind taking her to a different place. A dark place. My heart sank as I realized she had really been through some something. And I immediately regret asking. Whatever happened was something that really shook her to the core, and I I had brought it right back to the surface of her mind. I wonder if she's always avoided talking about it. You know what? We don't have to get into it all that. I'm sorry for bringing it up. Besides, I'm actually getting pretty tired after all. I know what you're doing, Lola, and I appreciate it. See, what, see, when you're in here, it's very important not to seem weak, or you'll be getting eaten alive. So we all tend to keep our sob stories to ourselves, because in here, there's no one to dry our tears. You're not a person as long as you're in here. You're just some sort of empty, forgotten shell of a person you once were. Well, for the record, I could never think you're weak. Whenever you feel ready to talk about whatever you've been through, I'll be here. 
not necessarily. You're going to be let out soon. Trust me, you don't belong here. You do? Yeah, I do. Besides, there's not really anything out there for me. Didn't you say something about having a mother? Doesn't really mean I can count on her. I think that's something you probably understand. But my circumstances are a bit different. How so, actually? Besides the fact my mom's a drug dealer, drug dealer, sorry, a drug addict, I'd rather not get into that right now. But she doesn't need me anymore. She has Gary. There was that face again, that heartbreaking face. And now I had more questions than ever. My curiosity felt like it might just kill me. But I could see in her eyes she wasn't ready to go there, which I decided was more important to respect. Besides, she doesn't really know me at all that well yet. I suppose it's not fair to expect her to spill her guts out to me immediately. What do you say we both try to get some sleep? Probably for the best. Sappy and I have a lot of plans for you. We need to get started immediately. What kind of plans? That's a bit unsettling. First of all, we got to work on your confidence. Sure, you're a little bit on the nerdy side, but you're beautiful, Lola. I don't know if I'd go that far. Well, guess what? I would. I'll admit I don't know much about your situation since we just met, but there is something that I do know, which is... Your sister is a sad, very insecure person. That's just a fact. How do you know when you've never met her? Only lonely, miserable people feel the need to spread around the kind of that kind of negativity. Trust me on this. I know a thing or two about bitches being bitches. I'm sure you do. The point is, she's miserable. Misery loves company. So she's done everything she could to convince you that you're the inferior twin. Whether you like to admit it or not, you're totally buying into it. So first, we're going to work on your confidence. Help you see that you're a badass and they're just dying to get out. Pretty sure that was proven today in the yard. We don't know how much time we have here, so we have to make the most of every moment. So you can go back home, put that bitch sister of hers in your place. Thank you for everything, Trixie. I have to admit, as much as it sucks in here, I'll be really sad when I have to say goodbye to you. I'm sure we'll see each other again. I'm serious. I want you to contact me the second you get out of here, understood? <laughs> yes, ma'am. After dinner. Thank you so much for dinner, boys. That was very sweet. Yes, thank you. It was really a lovely dinner. You know, if there was a restaurant, that would be the, par the part where you'd give us a tip. Axel Hunter. It's okay, Marie. No harm done. It's been so nice to see you, Linda. We need to do this again. Will you be staying until Samuel gets home? I'm sure he'd be excited to see you. I think I'm going to go home if you don't mind. I, I'll have to say hi to him next time. It's been a very long day and I'm actually exhausted. Mom, may I speak to Mrs. Berg alone for a moment, please? Of course you can, son. As long as it's all right with her, it's all right. Axel, would you like to come help me with the dishes in the kitchen? And miss the tea brewing right here in the living room? <laughs> Why, why, I'd love to do the dishes after cooking dinner, mother. Woo, woo, can I take out the trash too? Can I, can I, can I? That would just give me just enough time to sip on a non-alcoholic beverage while watching paint dry. Oh my goodness, the excitement is thrilling. I can't handle the suspense. Please let me do the dishes, please. A simple I don't want to, but I will would have been just fine, Axel. Remind me to kick your father's ass for giving you that charming sarcasm of his. I'll call you tomorrow, Linda. You're not going to throw down or anything, are you? You're supposed to be asking me if I'm going to throw down with Lola's mother. I'm saying I'm not saying hit her or anything. That would be bad. But if you, you maybe want to like pinch her or something at least, that might be cool. You do know they can hear us, right? Now I'm confused. About what? About what in our history led you to believe that bothered me? <laughs> this is why we haven't, we can't have nice things. Sorry about him again, Linda. Axel, get the cleaning supplies out from under the sink because you're going to be spending the rest of the night cleaning until your attitude approves. Oh my God, really? But it's not even my birthday yet. Beautabomb.com, mom. Your brother's quite the character, isn't he? That's certainly one way to put it. So what did you want to talk about? Well, since you are friends with my mother, I wanted to try to make peace about earlier. I promise I don't usually talk to people like that. You know, you remind me a lot of your mother. She was always the sweetest person you could ever meet to hope for until someone pissed her off. But she truly cared about people. I can see the same quality in you. I suppose I should be grateful that you feel so strongly about standing up for my daughter. You feel something for her. 
don't you? I was telling the truth earlier when I said I just met your daughter that day that you, they came to my house. Yes, I ended up coming over to your house to see Lola, but I'm afraid you've been given the wrong impression of mo my motives. So what are your motives exactly? The day your daughter came to the house, Lola was very uncomfortable. She refused to come inside and wanted to be taken to school. But that's not what Lola told me. L Lola. Olivia. Olivia. Olivia was dishonest with you, Miss Burke. I'm aware you've been inclined to believe her over someone you've just met, but I believe I owe it to Lola to tell you the truth, regardless of whether or not you accept it. Go on. Olivia was with Trevor, with Trevor and wanted to stay, so she asked me if I go outside and convince Lola to come in. I only talked to Lola for a few minutes, but there was something about her that seemed very sad and lonely to me. To be honest, if you would have heard the way Olivia spoke to her, never in my life have I heard someone be so cruel. Lola just looked, looked to be so broken. I kept thinking about it all that week, so I went to the house that day because I don't really know. She just seemed like she could use a friendly face, some kind words, because you don't think she's getting that at home, do you? Can you look me in the eyes and tell me you remember the last time someone showed her some kindness? She's in some kind of prison for crying out loud. You don't think that upsets me? I'm her mother. Are you Lola's mother or Olivia's? Because from where I'm standing, there's one twin who's been getting the short end of the stick. Did you ship Lola off because it's what's best for her or what's best for you? How dare you? No, how dare you? Olivia is a horrible human being. She's mean and selfish and treats everyone around her like crap. And a lot of people are afraid of her because she's a bully, but no one actually likes her. Not only that, but she also drinks and smokes. It's actually, it was actually her at the party, as a matter of fact. But tell me, when's the last time she was actually punished for literally anything? Can you even remember the last time? Something tells me the answer is no. Meanwhile, Lola is locked up at some kitty prison. It's bullshit. She's probably locked up in there with real criminals. What did you, what did she do to deserve that? Please tell me. You know, I'm almost inclined to feel sorry for you. I think somewhere inside you love both of your daughters. Maybe you even really want to do right by Lola. But you want to know what stop, stops me from having pity is because that look on Lola's face. That heartbreaking look your other daughter put there and you're enabling it. I think it's sad that a young girl can't depend on her mother. But luckily Lola is strong enough to depend on herself. So with all due respect, ma'am, if I was her, I'd leave you and my bitch sister and never look back. Drive safe going. <laughs> Tell them again. Mm. She's a bitch. And her sister's a bitch. And they're just bitches. Trixie was determined it would only be a matter of days before I was released. Which might be partly why she was hesitant to open herself up to me at the time. But the days turned into weeks. And weeks turned into a month. And I was still locked up. Still rarely heard from my mother or my sister. And just as Trixie had promised, I found myself changing a lot. Ooh, ooh, we got our hair down. We that curly girl. I might change her hair. I might change her hair next time, but I don't know. Okay, so not everything changed. But after all, I still had to go back to school at some point, right? Lack of knowledge is very cute, kids. Is never cute. I read that wrong. I'm sorry. I'm reading too fast. And sorry. Why am I not surprised to find you in here reading a book? Seriously? You could at least try to hide the judgment in your voice. Girl, you're already a freaking genius. At this point, you're just showing off. So what's on your mind? What makes you sure something's on my mind? I'm only with you every waking moment of my freaking life, Trix. So tell me what's wrong. Okay, fine. There was a bit of an issue we need to talk about. It doesn't have anything to do with Jerry and her two minions, does it? How did you know? There's always an issue with Jerry. She's been relentless ever since I punched out her little bodyguard. You blame her? She could bully people in peace before you showed up and punched out Case in two seconds after getting here. She deserves her after speaking to you like that. Besides, that was like a month and a half ago. Plenty of time in here to hold grudges. Besides, we both know you pretty much took over this place after that. She's bitter as hell. I have no interest in taking over anything. You do know, you know, I don't buy into those prison politics. Prison politics? Don't look at me in that tone of voice. We both know it's a thing. I don't want to go be top dog or whatever. 
I just won't tolerate bullies. Not anymore. Whether you want a leader position or not, here we are. Which reminds me, we need to do something about Gary. I mean, like, for real. Like, she's becoming more than just annoying. How so? Before I tell you, promise me you're not going to go running to your other bestie and snitch. I hate when you call the war in that. He's not my bestie. Although it was true, we had developed a certain level of respect, therefore, between each other. A bit of a confidant. He honestly cared about the kids here he made my time there much more bearable i never really understood why but he always seemed to have my back he's totally your bestie anyways don't go snitching to him please i'm not positive yet but he'll turn into he'll turn into a big thing i mean it is his job so he would kind of have to just tell me where is you're talking about tricks i'm pretty sure some of the other girls are getting high and i think jerry and her minions are the ones providing it are you sure they're getting high my mom's a drug dealer Ugh, fuck why do i keep saying drug dealer my mom's a drug addict lola i know what it looks like i'm a jerk i'm sorry it's okay but you know about jerry's history with selling drugs haven't you heard that they've been they've been more shady than usual lately i suppose it would make sense we have to find out for sure some of these girls are addicts lola it's just not right what she's doing well let's go pay her a visit then shall we <laughs> yes officer q-tip how many times will i tell you girls that is not my name my name is my name is cop seven <laughs> What was it that you needed exactly? I want you to come with me. Warden wants to speak with you. About what? Maybe he wants all the cheesy gossip. Come with me, Burke. For crying out loud, I need a raise. I guess I'll deal with this when we get back. You know where to find me. Are you sure about this, Linda? I'm positive. Well, why? To be honest, I'm not quite sure how she's going to take this. We all know this day was coming, right? I'm already on my way anyway. Besides, don't you think Lola will be happy? She's finally coming home. She hasn't seen her family in over a month. That's forever to a teenager. That's my pro that's my point, Linda. Look, I just want you to be prepared for this. If you're expecting some warm welcome when you see her, you'll be disappointed. She's been really hurt angry over this whole thing, Linda. She's still angry with me? No offense, but wouldn't you be? I told you when you bought her here she didn't belong. The urine sample she took she took came back negative and you still wouldn't let her leave you or olivia never once even came to visit her or wrote her the whole time she was here do you have any idea how that must have made her feel watching other kids get letters and visitations with her family while she gets nothing i couldn't even comfort her as her father because she still hasn't told we still haven't told her the truth you promised me a month ago that we would tell her the truth but let's be honest linda the on the reason you've done nothing to fix anything this past reason past reason past month the reason you have left her here this long the reason you never came to visit it's all come down to one thing which is you don't want to own up to what you put this girl through because it would mean that you have to own up to the fact that you failed as a mother how dare you want you of all people telling me i failed as a parent really you've been there for one month her entire life i was there from the beginning maybe i've made mistakes but at least i've shown up suddenly you think you have the right to judge my parenting skills after one month look maybe i shouldn't have said that i know i made mistakes of my own but at least i own them own up to them took you long enough didn't it now if you're done insulting me i'm coming to pick up my daughter first of all she's our daughter second of all that isn't my only concern well what is lola lola has changed since she's been here i mean i just want you to be prepared when you pick her up she won't be how you remember how much could she have changed in a month in this place, you'd be surprised. I just really remember warning you that this place changes people. What exactly do you mean by changed? Don't get me wrong. She's still a smart, sweet girl. She was when she came in here. She's just different. It might be a bit of a shock to you, considering you've seen you haven't seen her in a month. Just make sure she's ready when I get there, please. I'll be there very soon. And Lola is coming home tonight. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, that is it for that episode. So apparently, come next episode, we are going home. So how do you guys think our encounter with our bitch-ass sister is going to be? Because I hope when we get home, we punch her straight in her fucking face. Just straight in her face. 
but other than that guys i hope that you guys have enjoyed the story i hope you guys are enjoying this story i will be continuing all the stories that you know i put on pause that you know we should be done by uh with by now you know more infamous more love island more um, something about a crush or something about a secret one of those uh, episodes of course you know we'll be continuing playing this and of course war dogs because uh war dogs is almost finished we only got like five or six episodes left but other than that guys all of my social medias will be down in the description box down below if you guys want to support my business that will also be down in the description box down below you guys can always leave a comment on stories you story stories oh my god y'all i can't talk today i'm so sorry on stories that you guys want me to read but other than that i hope that you have enjoyed this video and i hope that you have a good day night afternoon whatever time that you see this Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.